Hi, I'm Jason Schwartzman. I'm Jake Ryan. And I'm Scarlett Johansson. Where are you? Asteroid City, Farm Route 6, Mile 75. Hey everyone, I'm Jeffrey Wright. Junior stargazers and space cadets. Each year we celebrate Asteroid Day. Hey everyone, I'm Maya Hulk. And I'm Rupert Friend. And we star in Wes Anderson's new movie, Asteroid City. In the movie, families from across the country gather in a fictional American desert town for a junior stargazer convention. I heard there's a real life reason people will be gathering in the Utah desert this September. The world will never be the same. What is happening there on September 24th? September 24th is gonna be a historic day. This is NASA's first asteroid sample return mission and the biggest sample return beyond the moon. Shortly before 9 a.m. local time, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft carrying precious samples of asteroid Bennu will release the capsule into the atmosphere to lower the samples down to the Utah desert where scientists are anxiously awaiting the return of these materials. Wow, that sounds like the plot of a science fiction film. It's incredible that a spacecraft can go to an asteroid, grab some pieces of it, and then bring them to Earth. So what will NASA look for within the asteroid sample? These pristine asteroid materials will be studied by scientists from around the world. We're going to be looking at the minerals, we're going to be dissecting the rocks, looking at it mineral grain by mineral grain to learn more about how the solar system formed and evolved. We're also going to be looking for water to try to understand how our Earth's oceans came to be. And then finally, we're going to be looking at organic compounds, including some of the basic chemical building blocks of life to try to understand whether asteroids like Bennu could have delivered the building blocks to Earth, leading to the origin of life on Earth and potentially elsewhere. With the data we obtained from these materials, we're going to be rewriting the textbooks on solar system formation. Fascinating stuff. Uh, but don't uh, fragments of asteroids land on Earth all the time? Why can't we study those pieces instead of a mission to bring this sample to the Earth? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, in fact, the Earth is constantly being bombarded by fragments of asteroids in the form of meteorites. But one of the big problems with studying meteorites is you don't always know where they came from. And it, it also can be contaminated. Fair enough. It makes sense that we'd want to study something more pristine. So how will NASA protect the sample once it's on Earth? And can I have some? <laughs> oh, I wish we could have some of these samples. I wish I could bring one home with me to put on my dresser at home. But the reality is these samples will only be for educational purposes in scientific research. The samples will be transported to the NASA's Johnson Space Center, where they built a special curation facility just for keeping these samples safe and pristine. This is also incredible. I, I don't, I'm so glad that NASA has teams of people that are searching for the answers to some of the biggest questions like, where did life and water come from? How did, where did our solar system come from? I can't wait to see what we learn from the asteroid sample Osiris Rex is bringing to Earth. Like, thank you for all that you do. <laughs> this is also incredible. Thank you so much for all you do. Well, you just said that name. You just said Osiris Rex. That was the thing. That was really That was kick oh, ass. Was, how did you do that? I was like, um, what is this phrase? I was like, Osiris Rex. Osiris Rex. Yeah, Osiris. It was great. It was great. Osiris Rex.